In 1986, Kenner, best known for their successful Star Wars, Superpowers, and Mask toy lines, introduced the real Ghostbusters. A toy line based on the cartoon of the same name, which in turn was based on the hit movie. The premise is simple, but amazing. Four paranormal investigators detect, capture, and detain ghosts who haunt the living for a small fee. Think animal control, but for ghosts. The first series had the four main hero characters, Peter Venkman, Ray Stantz, Egon Spengler, and Winston Zeddemore. And today, we'll be taking a look at Peter Venkman and the Grabber Ghost, here on Creed's Collection. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Creed's Collection. Today, we're taking a look at Peter Venkman and the Grabber Ghost from the 1986 toy line, The Real Ghostbusters by Kenner. Peter, or Venkman as he's known to the other Ghostbusters, is the fast-talking, cynical, sarcastic, but sweet-natured leader of the Ghostbusters. Described as being more like a game show host than a scientist, Venkman rarely shows worry or doubt as he presents himself with a confidence that borders on arrogance, but is still somehow charming. While the least serious or studious, Venkman is still a holder of two PhDs, one in psychology and the other in parapsychology, so he's much smarter than he lets on. And now that we know a little bit more about Venkman, let's take a closer look. The real Ghostbusters action figures are spot-on representations of the cartoon show, but of course they look nothing like their movie counterparts. Obviously, this is not Bill Murray. But for the cartoon, the creators said they wanted to make the Ghostbusters look a little different so they stood out from each other, hence the different colored jumpsuits and slightly different looks. As far as the condition, it's held up beautifully. This Ghostbuster symbol looks pretty much perfect. The paint on the hands has held up well, and the walkie-talkie is actually a nice touch. And the boots are 100% scuff-free. As we come around to the back, you can see the giant peg hole where you plug in the proton pack, as well as the copyright information on this lower pack. And I'm not kidding when I say giant. I mean, look how big it is. I'm really not sure why it needs to be that big, because the pack is quite light. And speaking of the pack, here it is. That's the peg that plugs in. It's actually kind of like a clip, and you just take it like so and pop it on, and it actually snaps into place. Then you can take the neutrino wand and put it on his arm like so, but I almost never actually put it on his hand because I'm afraid it'll peel the paint. Here's a closer look at the pack itself. It's a pretty nice representation of a proton pack. I like it quite a bit. I mean, it lacks paint, but other than that, it's pretty nice. Uh, some nice details here. That's where you actually hang the neutrino wand just like that. It snaps right into place, which is where the Ghostbusters always keep them when they're not in use. The hose or cord is made out of nylon. And the neutrino wand has the Ghostbuster symbol on it, actually, right here. Then on the back here, you have this little rotatable handle that allows you to simulate the proton stream. You know what? Let's do this properly. Let me turn it on. Alright, now it's time to take a look at the Grabber Ghost, the included ghost with Peter Venkman. He's a very cool translucent blue color with an interesting dinosaur tail back here and spines on his back. His feet kind of remind me of E.T. and I like his teeth here and his tongue. He's actually really nice looking and very in the style of a Ghostbusters ghost, which is kind of humorous and funny most of the time. Alright, now we're going to take a look at Venkman's articulation. They have a 90 degree bend at the leg forward, but the leg cannot go back at all. The arms can go 360 degrees forward or back. The head can turn left and right. And that is it. That covers all five points of articulation for Venkman. On Venkman's lower back, you can find his copyright information, 1984 Columbia Pictures, which of course is the year Ghostbusters the movie came out, but the figure didn't come out until 1986. And now for our He-Man size comparison, Ghostbusters figures are actually pretty tall, so they're not too much smaller than Masters of the Universe. However, I don't see mixing these two toy lines together as they're so radically different. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my toy retrospective for Peter Venkman and the Grabber Ghost from the 1986 toy line The Real Ghostbusters by Kenner. 
As a child, I never collected any of these figures, because even though I liked the cartoon, I wanted the figures to be based off the movie. But now looking back, I realize that these are much more unique, and I'm glad they're like this. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up. And if you have any thoughts, please leave a comment. I love reading and responding to them. And while you're at it, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it and it would help my channel grow. I do a retrospective on a toy for my vintage collection every Wednesday. So I hope to see you next week and every week after here on Creed's Collections.